Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And today what I want to share with you is a little training about candlesticks. And I say little because, hey, I have some courses that you can go in even more detail uh, than what we're going to cover here. So uh, we're going to go into candlesticks. So if you're brand new to looking at stock charts, stay tuned. I'm going to share with you some candlestick insights. And if you're kind of confused, you're seeing a lot of people write on charts and there's like almost an essay and paragraph and these things are circled. I'm going to simplify it for you right now. So stay tuned. We're going to learn a lot about candlesticks what they really mean, and I'm going to give you a good concept to think about it when you're looking at any candlestick chart. Let's check it out. All right, so I think a lot of people that get into reading uh, stock charts and candlesticks, they get confused by just the bars themselves. And I'm going to show you how to really uh, look at these things a little bit better. Before we get there, uh, I do want to let you know, check out our website at Rise to Learn. We do have uh, how to trade stocks with technical analysis and some other great uh, items uh, if you're serious and interested to take your learning to another level. You could also go check out our website at uh, tradersfly.com. There's also a lot of great stuff on that website, tons of freebies, uh, education, products, courses as well. So definitely Definitely check those things out and join our newsletter so that way you can check out some discounts, uh, other great uh, lessons classes that we release. To get into candlesticks, we're going to go ahead and take a little step back and we're going to look actually at these types of uh, wicks. This is the OHCL kind of bars. And when you look at this, it, I think it makes candlesticks a lot easier because when you look at um, these charts, you could look at them in so many different ways. I could look at it as a line chart. I could look at it as OHLC bars, which basically means open, high, low, close. And then you have your candlesticks. And that's what people get confused about. So if we look at these open, high, low, closed uh, sticks, I think it'll make things a lot easier for reading candlesticks. So let's kind of go to the paper here. I'm going to show you some uh, basic insight. So all this means is uh, the way that these stock charts work is that you're going in right here and you're starting. This is your open. And then what happens is the stocks kind of wiggles around in here and it may go down here. This will be your low right here. And then eventually it kind of goes up, may hit a high, continues to wiggle throughout the day. And then it ends right here. So this is your close. And you can guess it, this is your high. Now, why is this green? Well, it's green because what happened was, uh, was that we closed higher than what we opened. So the way that candle was drawn was really, you just go down, up, and then right here. So that's that candle. Uh, it's not a candle, it's an OHLC uh, bar. But if you fill it, it would be a candle. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. If we look at the red version, okay, which is uh, the bearish, so this is going to be uh, bearish, okay, or down, in other words. Uh, this one that we just drew, this is the bullish one. And this is, you know, an upward move, okay. Um, so when we look at the, the bearish version, it's the same concept. So we open somewhere, okay, we open here, we wiggle around in there, we might make a little high somewhere here, we continue throughout the day, we might have made a low, and then we close somewhere here, okay? And your low is over here. So that's really all it is. That's the basics behind candlesticks. And people make it so difficult, uh, and I made it so difficult when I first got kind of started. And this is the simple way to really look at it. That's all it is. It's just things moving around. If you want to look at it as a uh, kind of a, a, a candle itself, well, it's no different. Well, what happens is just those things are filled. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and look at it like this and draw the little candle here. And because it's green, and we can fill it with a highlighter, make it green for you. Uh, all that means, it's very simple, right? You have your open, you have your close because it's green. Here's your high. Here's your low, okay? And the open here starts here and close at the top because it's green, so it went up. Um, and that's why I find the OHLCs are easier for beginners to start. And that's really what I actually use personally. Uh, these are a lot easier to read on the chart in the sense of they're fatter. Uh, so if you have a smaller screen, it's fine. Uh, but you could pack more data really in these same exact thing, okay? And if we go in with the bearish one, it's, again, same thing. You just draw your candle. Here it is, okay? And then what happens is, well, take a guess. Where's the open, where's the high, where's the low? In this case, 
the open isn't on the lower left like it is here because this is red you were at the high point open and you closed here this was your low this was your high and that's it it's all there is to it simple end of session not really let me share with you some more uh insight and details because people get so into it like what does this candle mean what does it uh work how does it function here i'll show you uh some more thoughts uh behind them um, kind of uh these things so uh there's a lot of different kinds of candles you might see a uh, candle and i'll make it black for now you might see a candle that's kind of like this okay and this candle we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it green, right? I made it black for now just to, so you could see it. But let's say it's a green candle. Well, what does that mean? Well, if it was green, you know, we open here and then we close way up here. Well, it means there's strong buyers. And here's the big analogy I want you to think about. Okay. If you're looking at this as a um, gas pedal in a car and you slam on the gas, you just push the gas as hard as you can, right? You ramp it up. RPMs go, gas goes, speedometer flies, and you start hauling down the road. What does that mean? It means there's a lot of juice. There's a lot of volume going into uh, the car, and it means you're going fast. So when we're looking here at these candlesticks, vroom, a lot of buyers, a lot of buyers stepping in. That's a good sign if you're looking to buy the stock and get in it. Now, each one of these bars, it could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month. So the bars can represent different things. Uh, but in other words, this candle would be boom, a lot of strong buyers. If I had something a little bit different, let's say I had something more like uh, this kind of candle. And again, let's say it's green as well. Okay. Well, what does that mean? How fast are you put, uh, stepping on the gas pedal? This is your buyers. Okay. The buyers stepped up. But room couldn't do it, came back, not a lot of gas, right? Think of it like gas pedal, or this one, uh, just lightly on the gas. So again, you open, you close, still higher than maybe before or the last candle, but ultimately it's not enough juice. So here's your high, maybe your low is down here, or it could be even, there could be a little tick here, but there's your low, and that's it. That's really the big picture behind it. There's also um, candles that are uh, engulfing candles. So let's say you're looking at, uh, let's say a basic candle here. Okay, you got a candle. Okay, so here's your candle. And then what happens is, boom, it swallows up. The next candle swallows it up. Well, what does that mean? That means there's a ton, a ton of sellers. So what you have is, you know, if the previous candle, let's say green, red, doesn't matter. But what's what's happening is it's engulfing. There's so much juice, so much energy downward to the downside. Okay, you could have that happen also here. Let's say we've got, okay, a little candle here. And then you've got a massive candle here. Boom, riding. And it's moving to the upside. It's engulfing and swallowing up to the upside. What does this mean? It means strong buyers, very bullish for the stock. What does the other one mean? It means strong sellers, not good for the stock. So that's all these kinds of things mean. And that's the whole point behind candles is you're looking at how strong you're pushing on the gas. Am I pushing uh, extremely strong or am I pushing lightly? And going back to this example, okay, this one in the buying side, you're pushing strong. This one, you're not pushing as strong. If you're short a stock, let's do the opposite example. If we're short a stock and let's say we're, you know, want the stock to go down, okay, and here is my candle. Well, that is strong, uh, bearish, right? But on the opposite spectrum, let's say the stock's kind of moving down a bit right here. Okay, what does this mean? Well, here, hey, maybe that stock still closed red and it still didn't do so well. But the point is, is hey, there, you know, the, the sellers took it down and then it brought it back up and it still closed lower than it opened, right? So let's say this was our open, this was our close, and that's because it's red, and it took it down, but the buyer stepped back in. So ultimately, there wasn't enough sellers. It's, it's weak sellers, or in other words, stronger 
buyers. So this is the, the war that happens. It's the war in the candlesticks. And if you're drawing these kinds of things, right? So again, you're open, you're moving and wiggling around, and you're closing here. That's what I like to see. Here on this one, it's just boom, uh, the open. Uh, again, here, you're wiggling around. And this one, it's strong bearish, right? So you're, you're really going and closing there. So let's look at this on a stock chart so you get a better idea. So uh, let's just check out um, lows right here. So I wanna show you uh, this kind of candlestick example. And take a look at these uh, candles. So you look at this one here, where we're going in right here. That's our open for the, the month. This is a monthly chart. So each one here represents a month. I could change it to each one represents a week. I could change it to every single bar represents a day. But let's say we go ahead and say each one represents a month. So as I'm looking into this, here is our open. Here is our, well, let's just label it here. Here is our open right here. Here is our high. This is our low. And this is where we close. So what's going to happen next day? Well, we open kind of right here, almost in the same area. Sometimes it could gap up or gap down. We open stock wiggles. Okay, so our open is nearly what our high is. Um, you know, could have happened at the beginning, could have happened at the end. Here is our low right there, and we close right here. So that's why it's red. So what does this tell you? Okay, this one, not much has happened, right? Kind of the same. Like if you're playing tug of war, it's about the same. Buyer, seller is about equal. What does this tell you? That tells you it's strong selling pressure. There's a lot of sellers stepping up, not a lot of buyers. So that means there's more energy to the downside for that month. Now, of course, things reverse in the markets. You know, um, once you sold off a lot, you, you have value buyers that step in. And this is what kind of happened uh, right here. So again, you have open, you have the high, and the low was kind of right around that same open area. And then you have your close right here. And that's the way I like to look at it. Of course, you could see very simple input, wiggle around, output. If you like looking at it at a candlestick, we could go ahead and change these uh, chart properties because it is easier to see on one hand on the screen, but that's the way it works. It's the same concept. They are the exact same thing. So you'll also notice these uh, dojis right here. So there's some other candlesticks. And all that's telling you is, hey, how was that gas pedal pushed? Okay, first initially, what happens is, is hey, we go in, push the little, and then it came back, right? Whereas other times it goes, hey, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, came back down, and then it came back up. So that's the way these kinds of things work. Ultimately, what you want to see is, is the momentum and the energy. And when you're looking at the energy, you're looking at the width, the spread. How big is that bar? Like you look at some of these bars right here. These are dojis, and people look at them. They try to evaluate them. All this tells me is that there's not a lot really... Um, happening kind of open closed you know it's not as important as a bar that maybe is a lot bigger right so these are big bars wide meaning from the open to the close these are wide bars because it tells me how strong we pushed on the gas pedal meaning the buyers or how strong we slammed on the brakes which would be the sellers so uh, if you look at these kinds of things uh, that really will tell you much more on uh, kind of direction. And you could look at things on a, on a daily chart as well. Let's, let's look at an, maybe another stock chart. You could see here, we'll back it up just to show you a few examples um, right here. So looking at this and just doing a quick little, let's say, uh, zoom in right here. So you'll notice this bar, even though it's red, not much happened, right? The spread of the bar is small. So, hey, we went ahead, we opened, we closed lower, but it's almost the same price. Stock didn't move much. Whereas in this one, we opened way here, we sold off in a big way, and we closed way down here. In fact, we were down at those lows, and the buyers stepped in a little bit. So all this tells me is, hey, there was this many buyers, so let's make it green. There's this many buyers, and the rest really was kind of mostly sellers. So you could see who won the battle. So that's kind of the basics behind candlesticks. I know we didn't get into like all these gravestone dojis and all that, but that's the main thing that you really got to know is that's how you look at these things. Where are things pivoting? So if I'm looking at a stock chart, I'm saying, hey, 
is that strong? Is it a strong sell-off or are we losing, are we losing steam? Is it strong buying? Those are the things that are going in my mind. So let's look at that and I'll just share with you my thoughts on, on a stock chart as I'm looking at it. So let's pick like McDonald's here. Okay. We're looking at McDonald's. Let's go to, uh, maybe a, uh, let's say a weekly chart. Okay. So here, what happens with McDonald's, uh, I'm looking at it and let's just start uh, at this point. So what I notice right here is all these are kind of hitting the same price. Okay. If they're hitting the same price, rejecting it, hitting the same price, uh, you're kind of digesting and moving sideways and you see there's indecision, which means the buyers and sellers are kind of even. So you'll see that in this bar right here. Okay. So if you look at that bar, it's almost even, you'll see that in some of the other bars also. So we got a couple bars that you know, prices didn't really shift much from the open and the close. And you saw that, and this is where you get your consolidation. So that's why we kind of move sideways. That's all it means. Eventually you got that boom, explosion, gas pedal, buyer stepping in. That's the strength open to the close. They're stepping in. There's a lot of power. And this one, even though it's red, yeah, it did close a little lower, but look at what happened. We got down in here. It tells you we went, the sellers were in control for a little bit. And even though we ended a little bit red, the buyers brought it back up, right? Cause it ended at the top, right? It went all the way down and ended at the top. And then again, we kind of go and go and these are less relevant candles here. We got some balance and decision. They're smaller candles. Okay. I'm not really evaluating things in, at, in that detail. Every single candle, you just, your mind doesn't have room for capacity, but then what you're noticing and catching is, okay, these are kind of the same spot. And then you'll notice this big candle, man, that's a lot of buyers stepping up. Boom, gas pedal. Boom. And then again, problem, 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 problem. Can't get over that level. So you'll, you're starting to see these red bars. Look, first that red bar is small. Then the red bar is bigger. You're starting to see the bigger red bars. That means sellers are picking up. You're trying to, you're comparing this green bars to these red bars recently. And you're seeing those green bars are kind of small compared to the red bars. And then you'll see this red bar again, pick up speed. So look at this one. Look at this one. And then the third one's even bigger. So it showed you how fast they started to pick up with the trend. And then this one just blew it down. It rejected. So it tried to get higher, tried to get higher. Couldn't, 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 couldn't. And then boom, if we can't go higher, you got to bust them lower. Okay. And then for a little bit, Hey, there's indecision. Is this a good value? Not much is happening. Again, you're just trying to go sideways for a little bit. That's what's what goes on with this stock. And that's why these bars are kind of small. But momentum is starting to build to the downside. And then you get another big downward move because we broke that support level. Boom, stock takes it down even further. And now again, we'll digest this further. If there's enough buyers that step in, okay, what you'll probably see is a nice big candle to the upside. And you'll see this in certain stocks um, after a major downward move, just to show you, uh, you'll see that reverse trend. So here, if you look at Caterpillar, here is a weekly trend. So notice this bar is a little, uh, these are smaller, but then they're getting bigger, right? Bigger red bars, bigger red bars. And then they start getting smaller again. And that slowly changes direction like a ship or just like you're driving your car. You slowly just change direction a little bit. And that takes a bit of time. And then they get smaller and then boom, you get that explosion effect. And again, you pull back a little bit and then again the same thing big bars that's what you're looking for smaller bars all you're looking for when you're looking at those smaller bars is where's the weakness um, and how's the direction change playing in like these kinds of bars with long wicks or long shadows like that you're saying hey well there's a lot of selling pressure the stock was higher and then it came down to the downside so there's selling pressure same thing here it was higher and then the sellers took control and that's why we got more selling action um, other, uh, stocks, let's just check out kind of, a, another bar example is you'll see here's kind of the opposite of that where, Hey, the stock was lower. We had this downward momentum. It was lower and then we pulled it higher. Uh, you can see the buyers were more in control. Why is it? Well, because we were, we were down way at these levels, but then we finished way up there because that's where all these little, uh, little uh, hammer parts are. And then you know, the stock continue to, to bounce for the next few months. So that's really the basics, uh, when it comes to uh, these, uh, candlesticks, that's really what you got to know. 
that of course you could get into more and more detail into them and I do have a course if you're serious about it you know definitely check out uh, some of our courses right here there is our um, uh, some case studies for penny stocks which is great for reading charts even if you're not trading penny stocks it's a good way to learn uh, some charts how to trade stocks with technical analysis this is where we get into really detailed technical analysis stuff um, and if you're really looking into more practice check out this video series on 245 money making stock chart setups which is basically uh, also my book on um, just chart patterns so if you want to look at chart patterns hey this book these books they're all about looking and evaluating charts. So check out this um, this video. And when you look at this kind of uh, kind of book, you can see it's just pointing out support, resistance, uh, and those kinds of great things, all regarding um, kind of uh, trading uh, by the technicals. So, anyways, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the face icon here. If you want to join me on my newsletter list, you can click the link over here. Otherwise, thank you for joining me for a quick little basic tutorial and training. This is just the beginning. If you're brand new, then definitely check out some of the other videos that are more intermediate to advance and it'll help you continue to grow as a trader, investor, and improve your financial life. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.